Hi, Water. Um, you know, I do a different order. This is Jeffrey. This is the July reading. I do a different order every uh, week or month or whatever. And uh, I did air. I did the collective. Then I did air and I complained about my couch. Actually, there are still stains. You can't see it in the camera, but the oil got all over it. just flew off. Yeah, it, whatever. Um, so then I said water and I got a really clear message. It's like, what do I need to be healed of? What energy or um, thought pattern or belief or something, doubt, am I still holding that I need to release? It was really clear. Okay. Quite the opening. Let's see what the cards say. Quite the opening. All right. I'm trying to get everything done before the rain, but you never know. Because it gets dark. All right, three of wands, the three of wands, <clears throat> it's three, it's creative. And um, it's also, you, it's creative creativity because it's <laughs> the wands are passion, creativity, things that light your fire, right? Things that make you want to get out of bed, the thing you love to do. But the thing about the three of wands, he goes down to the shore, he's expecting good news. He's expecting, he's letting go. Right, he puts the stuff on the uh, on the boat that he wants to sell, so he's letting go of that. But he's also expecting good stuff. So that's the energy. It's like okay, so you sit with yourself. It's like what energy or what thought pattern or what whatever is uh, keeping me from my dreams from expansion? How can I let go of it to receive something new? And then I get the queen and king of cups, I mean, of swords, which are, you know, all mental. It's all uh, like the king of swords cuts out what's unnecessary. The queen of swords is like, has completely let go of the past and uh, is, is ready to move forward with the vision of the future. So I feel like you're really going to be able to cut this out, but first you have to discover what it is. And... Um, you know, I do healing work and this and that. So if you feel you need help, you know, then get, be in touch with me. But um, sometimes it's really about doing it for yourself, by yourself, with yourself. And, you know, the thing is with all this healing energy stuff, I mean, yeah, I've been attuned to it. Okay. But it's really about the intent. So it's like, okay, well, I'm still holding on to say, say jealousy. Let's just for an example, right? So maybe I write down the people that I'm jealous of and why I'm jealous and what I'd like to have or what, you know, make a ritual. Like, I don't have to tell you, you just make your own ritual. You set the thing on fire and whatever. You, you flush it down the toilet, whatever. You, you bless a stone and put it on your altar. That's it. I ask my higher self. I ask my angels and guides. I ask the Godhead, take this away. Because it's in my way. That's it. And if you feel you need more, I'm here to help. All right. And then the queen. So that I can, you know, finally take hold of my passion completely and utterly and move forward with it. Yeah, the end is done and something new is coming. And that just came up with the air signs. However, you know, I did shuffle. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to unite. There's an interesting energy in this card. It's there, I mean, there's a lot going on in here. It's the biggest card on the deck on the uh, board right now. It's a union of body and mind. It's the union of ourselves in this incarnation with heaven. That's really what the strength card is about. 
And, you know, it's about strength, it's about courage, it's about fortitude, but it, it's really, you know what I also, sometimes the way I see the strength card, the way I understand that it, it's part of Leo. So sometimes the way I understand the strength card is like the, the lion is the king of the jungle, right? Um, and the lion allows himself to be led by spirit, allows himself to be tamed. And that's true leadership. To say, I just don't know anymore. I don't know what to do with this energy anymore. I, I, I've tried to, you know, utilize it. I've tried to disguise it. I've tried to um, run away. And it's like, you know, it's almost like that the lion asking the mouse food with the thorn. It's like, I need some help. I need some help. And spirit's right there to help us. All you have to do is ask. And then, you know, take an action. Make a ritual. Do whatever you need to do. It's water signs. I mean, what do you expect? All right. Uh, for extended readings, it's uh, $4.99 or $6.99 a month. Please join us for members. And um, blessings.